Hey everyone. So I was inspired by one of our group members, um, Miss Marie, um, to do a bottle bottom pour. But I want to do it over a flip cup so that I have a green background. So I'm going to be mixing up the background color with a little bit of black, some fern green, uh, Soho permanent green, and Soho cad yellow green. Sorry about that. We had two big trucks just come down the road, so I had to stop the video. So I'll go back with the black, burn green, permanent green, yellow green. One more round and we should have enough to cover the canvas. set these over here out of my way and we'll do our flip cup on this one now remember this is just our background paint so it doesn't have to be perfect we'll end up pushing most of it off anyways pretty colors together. Flip that over. Maybe I can get a skin for some jewelry. But I saw this on the group this morning and I was like, that is beautiful the way she did that. So I wanted to try it. Very big stretch here. Could use just a little bit more paint, huh? <laughs> push a lot of that off anyway. Not sure if I have enough to get to that corner, but we're going to try. See if I can help it along. There it goes. It just needed something to glide on. And I don't care if the cells are young or wonky or if I'm zigzagging because it's just color. Bring that back to the middle. All right. So now I'm going to use um, a seven bump bottle bottom, which will give us seven petals. We're going to place that right in the middle. And I'm going to start with some white. Just to get it flowing. Now I made some burgundy. Um, if you don't have a burgundy color, um, mix red and brown and add some blue. And that will give you burgundy. Follow that with Liquitex Cad Red Light. Soho Gold Metallic. Craftsmark Pink Turlamine. This is a metallic. Deco Art Sterling Silver. That is also a metallic. 
in Liquitex quinacridone rose. I'll go back with a little bit of white to break it up. The burgundy. I really like that burgundy color in there. Now we should get some reaction with the sterling silver. It does love um, an opaque next to it, so we'll see how that works. I think we can go one more round. under my tray I seem to be going this way today for some reason. It's not going to matter when I start tilting. Okay, and I'm going to finish. Let's see. Let's finish with the gold. Skin's going to be beautiful. I'm going to let that kind of flow in, and then I'm going to play with it with the skewer. I wonder if I could take some of that green out of that middle. work. Hey, while you're watching, click subscribe. I'll pull some of these in. Okay, and then on the outside we'll bring two in. Swirl. All right, let me give it a quick torch. Get rid of some air bubbles. Now we have a lot of paint there, so we have to stretch it out. Everybody always says, why don't you leave it? You cannot leave that much paint on a canvas. So when you're doing bottle bottom pours, Slow tilts, guys. And always watch that center. Just stretching it out. I'm going to let that go over just a little bit. It 
because I do want to keep some of that green. So I just want to say thank you to Marie for posting that today. Give you a little inspiration and to try something different. We're all about new techniques and something different. All right, and I want it off center. So I'm probably going to stop right there. Oops, get you back in frame here. My camera is not behaving today. Center looks pretty good. I don't have to mess with it too much. But I do want a torch because that white and silver will have effects with the other colors. And those paints did have silicone in them. So we do have cells. to give this flower a center though so I'm gonna hope my black won't sink <laughs> and I'm just gonna skewer them in a little bit And I may go back in and put a dot of gold on each one of those just to um, fill it up. So it's very busy, very abstract, fun. Don't you think? Okay, guys. So subscribe if you haven't. Click on that bell so you get notified when I upload my next video. Click like and share. Leave a comment. Join us on Facebook. You can see all these great artists playing and sharing their work, inspiring others. Check out my Christina Welch art page also on Facebook. Shop with us on Amazon for all your paint pouring supplies. Check out our Etsy shop for all of our paintings. Use our stone coat, art coat, resin code. That's below. Check out Mike's channel while you're there. It's pretty cool. It's pretty bright. I like it. <laughs> Fan mail box address is below. Join us every Monday night. We're live at 9 p.m. Eastern Time right here on this channel. And our fan mail um, post office box has been bringing us some great gadgets. We want to thank everybody for that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye now.